like a bigger presentation. Alright, as for now, uh, I come here as for request for my boss uh, to do the strategic uh, audit, audit for your company. So, uh, before uh, we proceed with the strategic audit, uh, may I know about your company from Five Background, sir? Sure, definitely. So, first, you are most welcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to proceed with the background. So, TR TRB Headcom is an investment company, mm -hmm. which is engaged in the, the profession and of automot automot automotive service and business property. Mm -hmm. So, and the company was found on 28th, mm -hmm. on August 28th, 1990, and the headquarters is in Shah Alam. Mm -hmm. and this company will do is engage with manufacturing and physical manipulation and delivery, and delivery, delivery and inspection and distribution and sale conservation. And now let's talk about the vision. Mm -hmm. Our vision is to be number one, mm -hmm. and, and con uh, number one, and to be con continuously in excel that we do. Mm -hmm. And our mission is to lead the growth of the nation of the areas of TRB Hecom Core. Mm -hmm. Our objective is implication and focus. So now I'm quite happy about meeting today. So continue with my other partner. Yes, sure, sure. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Alright, assalamualaikum sir and very good afternoon. Uh, two days ago, I've met your chairman, uh, which they uh, he he have been uh, told uh, about your company visions and uh, your and about the your company background. So uh, today I set uh, our appointment uh, just to know about uh, continue about uh, your company profile background. So may I know uh, further about your company? Sir? Yeah, first welcome to Hikam Corp. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, I will explain to you. I will, I will continue from. Uh, from strategic mm -hmm. and our current, uh, I will give you more information about, uh, about current board directors and oh, management oh, teams oh, yeah. and how our company is uh, organization structure working. Mm -hmm. So first, let me start about strategies. Okay. The strategies is uh, management always is a game plan to run the business mm -hmm. to the strategic uh, organization competitive competitive uh, position. Yeah. And also make satisfy the customer mm -hmm. and to accept the loyalty for the company mm -hmm. also uh, and achieve performance target oh, okay. so uh, now uh, I will go for the current uh, current board directors uh, I will mention here some of our uh, directors first I will start for uh, Sir Mohammed Kamil bin Jamal is an executive German oh, uh, also, Sir Faisal Al Albar bin Ali, uh, Group Managing Director. Mm -hmm. Also, Poon uh, City Fatima bin Daoud is an uh, independent non executive director. Mm -hmm. Also, Sir uh, Bin Abdullah, independent and non executive director. Mm -hmm. That's all for the uh, okay. current board directors. Okay. For furthermore information, we have. You can have for this annual report. issues is uh, the issue regarding the RB Highcom in a way for finding a foreign strategy partner for uh, Proton. So based on the first issues is where the, uh, uh, where the takeovers of Proton under their operations passing to China Gili Auto. Thus uh, with much speculations of China Gili Auto uh, taking ov over Proton, the RB Highcom, the HUD which owns the National Car Corporations has issued a statement uh, to providing a clearer pictures of what is going on. Um, despite of that, uh, some public speculation indicates that there is a belief that Proton is being sold off uh, to another party which is Gili uh, with an amount of 49.9% of share. Okay, uh, this is not the same as a potential buyer for the company and would mean that Gili Auto uh, or another party would be in a position similar to the Suzuki and earlier Mitsubishi of Proton. Okay, next we move to the second issues of the RB Highcom. Okay, the RB Highcom swings into loss due to weaker automotive performance. Okay, and then according to Star Online on 25 February 2016, it stated that the RB Highcom going to face the problem which uh, the company uh, sank into a loss attributable to its owner with the amount of 
185 million compared to the year earlier which earned the amount of 9.47 million. Okay, uh, these situations happen due to the market competitions, expenses that are related to aggressive promotions and sales campaign as well as a weak uh, consumer sentiments. So in addition, uh, the property of asset and construction sector also dropped to 23.1% where uh, it covers the projects such as uh, Proton City in Perak and also Glamoury properties in Shah Alam. Okay, hence, uh, the RB Highcom will continue on its effort uh, to improve its flexibility uh, through cost man management and initiative to further enhance their operational efficiency and effectiveness. So that's all for the issues of the RB Highcom. <laughs> Alright, as we know that all of the company have their own SWOT analysis in order to enhance the operation. So, apart from that, the RBI Com also have their own analysis in order to maintain the in order to maintain the processing. Uh, first, regarding the strengths, basically, uh, there are many strengths of the RBI Com, and uh, among it is uh, first unique of the products, which is uh, there are more focus on the automotive automotive industry. And then the marketability, which is uh, the, the, the product are market at the global. And then for the weaknesses, uh, firstly, weaknesses that faced by the RB Highcom is uh, through their ma weak management. Uh, and then uh, second uh, potential weaknesses is liberalizations, which is uh, there are issues arise uh, when the, I the RB Highcom uh, take place for the proton. Alright, next, the third element that you can get from the SWOT analysis of the RBI Com is the opportunity. The opportunity of the RBI Com is there are two. First is regarding the innovations of the product and then the new market of the product. And then for the fourth element of SWOT analysis is a threat. Alright, as for threat, there are two elements also, which is regarding the financial uh, crisis because they, they may face uh, some of financial problems. And then lastly is about the political risk, which is there are uh, elements uh, conducted by the government authorities. That's all for the SWOT analysis of the RBI Com. So here I cannot attend, your, attend our meeting yesterday. Okay. Okay, uh, today uh, I already prepared uh, toast metric mm -hmm. of the RBI Icon. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay, now I want to discuss about the toast metric of the RBI Icon. So, in this toast metric, we have four recommendations from the SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, first I want to discuss about the expo strategy, which is a combination of strength and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, first, we try to increase in variety latest product mm -hmm. of the DIY Com. Since uh, the DIY Com are exposed with uh, many competitors in Malaysia, mm -hmm. so it's uh, not a big problem mm -hmm. to them to develop rare product mm -hmm. such as from company, car component. In order, their employee uh, majority come from hard knowledge and mm -hmm. skill wages. Mm. Thus, it gives opportunity to company to have a variety of innovative products that come from research and development department yeah. to ensure the RB Hakum lead the latest product of automatic component rather than others. Okay, next I want to discuss about the WO strategy. The third recommendation is to supply more product in internet. Next, I want uh, to discuss about the fourth uh, strategy is the combination of uh, unit of product and the match of market. Okay, uh, this fourth uh, recommendation is to reducing cost in operation of the RBI Com. Okay, last I want to discuss about the WT strategy, which is the combination with uh, width of management and political risk. Okay, uh, the involvement of political person as a management team in the DIY Com, it seems give benefit to company by getting some of fund from government. But the many of them doing abuse of power they have in company. So the top management of the DIY Com should be careful and manage to put whistleblower person to put, to prevent the problem happen in the future. So uh, this uh, this solution can encourage management of the company can keep on track from day to day operation and give better handle the political risk of this. Okay, that's all. Thank you.